Beeble, Beeble, Bop. Hey everyone, and welcome to Decor. Meg, you really need to do an episode on clocks because your chronic tardiness is annoying. All right, see you later. Okay, so viewer future Meg just sent in a request about clocks. Do you know what time it is? It's to court yourself a clock. This week we're heading to New York Clock Studio to make our own handmade, repurposed Tom Talon machines. I'm Andrea Alefi. Welcome to my apartment here in the East Village in Manhattan. This is the home of New York Clocks. I make clocks from found vintage and recycled items. I try not to buy items new, but I have clocks like from an Aunt Jemima pancake box, from cigar boxes, tea tins, postcards, photographs that people send me, so I also custom. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own clock. Some of the supplies you're going to need to make the clocks, well, you've got to have the mechanisms. So I order my mechanisms online at clockparts.com. On the website, I also order the, the rest of the parts. Washer, the nut, minute hand, and then the hour hand. They're black on one side and white on the other, so you can actually just put them on whichever way you like that matches the clock. And the last piece is the screw. And then you just need the item you're going to make a clock out of. So today I'm going to demonstrate this tin, which I just got in Denmark. I actually just came back from Europe. Um, for all the clocks, you need a power drill. This drill bit is exactly the right size to fit the mechanism in without having to add anything. Like, it's just the perfect right size. I just figured it out by measuring it and going to the hardware store and buying a drill bit that works. Ideally, you'd want to wear maybe some like protective goggles like when you were in chemistry in high school. All right, I'm just gonna pretty much eyeball the middle and then drill away. See? Pretty easy and fast. Okay, I've drilled the hole. Next, I put in the mechanism. It should just pop right in. There you go. So the first piece to go on is this round flat ring. The next piece is the nut. So I, I screw this on until it's tight. Short hand goes on first. You can do either color by flipping it over. It's black on one side and white on the other. And then the second hand goes on after that. And now the last piece to go on is this little screw. And voila, see? Really, I mean, not even three minutes once you've got your materials together. When you're ready to sell this or give this away, you would just add one AA battery, which you can just pop right in here. Once it's set to the right time, it's a working clock. And you can always change the time by going like that. When we come back, I'll show you some more DIY clock ideas and what you could win by sending us the coolest DIY video. Have a home decor dilemma? We'll help you solve it on Decor It Yourself, new every Wednesday, right here on Threadbanger. Welcome back. Some other timeless clock ideas are, take your starburst mirror that you made from our 1950s episode and add a clock to the center. My favorite DIY clock source is Etsy seller Decoy Lab. I have always loved, loved, loved their nod to the classic cuckoo clock. Now they have these handmade laser cut modern bamboo clocks and these feminine white ceramic clocks. Fellow Etsy and Pixel This made one out of an old record player. Rock and roll. Imo Time made a clock out of this old vintage Super 8. Clearly the options are endless for how creative you can get. It's time to get started. Send in photos or videos of your DIY clocks or decor for a chance to win Domino's book on decorating. The deadline is Gracie's birthday, September 15th. I can't wait to see what you DIYers are up to. Until then, remember, your nest needs you.